Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. As you see by the preview picture and the title, old school baked potato casserole. Look, now, it's something I come up with, I bet you, over 15 years ago. Y'all know I love, if you don't know, you know now I love baked potatoes. You know, nice, fluffy baked potatoes with the bacon and butter, green onions, sour cream, salt and pepper, everything on it. I could eat that in the middle of the cell. Put some chopped beef up in there, some smoked sausage, put it in there. Mm. You need to put shrimp in there. But I'm gonna make a casserole. I've had some cheese sauce left over, homemade cheese sauce left over from a previous video that I made. I think it was the uh, old school brisket mac and cheese. You haven't seen that one. I hope this one come out after the other one so y'all don't get confused. Because I'm not going to make the cheese sauce in this video. I'm going to revert y'all back to that. I'm going to put a link in the description. And in the end of this video, I have a link. Or maybe I'll do a description too. Of the old school mac and cheese. This is the same cheese sauce I use in my grout potatoes. Regular mac and cheese. Same exact cheese sauce. So I had some left over. I said, why not just make my old school uh, baked potato casserole. Very simple. Very easy recipe, y'all. So, with that being said, I'm going to step off. I'm going to peel my potatoes, get them boiling. For this, I use regular, uh, I use regular uh, Idaho potatoes for this. You can use Yukon Gold, but after for a baked potato, I'm going to do just like a regular baked potato, a regular Idaho Irish potato. Of course, I got sour cream, I got chopped bacon, cheese, butter, green onions, everything going to a baked potato is going in here. There's just some steps that I do it with. And I'm gonna show you. When I finish it, it's just gonna just be less like scooping out a baked potato on your plate without the skin. It's so easy to eat. It you'll you'll make it like this every time. So anyway y'all I'm gonna step off here, get this stuff prepped up. I'm gonna get the potatoes boiling and we'll get to the next step. Very simple to get together. Old school baked potato casserole. Just getting started. Be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I got everything prepped and ready to go. Let me show y'all the potatoes here before I explain to y'all what I'm actually going to do. I got my potatoes over here diced up and boiling. And make sure, y'all, you start. Hold on just a second here. I got to put some salt in my water. Make sure you, I've had these boiling about 10 minutes here. You start potatoes in cold water. That way they'll cook more evenly. Don't store it in hot water because your potatoes will cook unevenly. I always start in cold water. So I got them boiling off. Now, over here, let me show you what I'm gonna do here. Once your potatoes get finished, I got my cheese sauce here. I'm gonna add a little milk to this, kind of thin it out a little, just a little, not much. I'm gonna toss the potatoes in cheese sauce. I'm gonna add some cheese to that. I'm gonna add the bacon to that. I got the green onions. I, this is something we do in the uh, uh, restaurant industry. We we use all the green onion. You know, some people take the green onion and just chop off the green and throw the rest away. No, we use the whole green onion. So I'm gonna put this actually in the mix in the baked potato. I mix this, this, this in the baked potato. Once I get it in there, I'm gonna put some butter on top of there. I'm gonna put some cheese and I'm gonna bake it by 30, 35 minutes uncovered. Once it come out the oven, then I'm gonna hit it with some green onions, tops, and I'm gonna sour cream, I'm gonna thin it down just a little and put in my little squirt bottle here, and we're gonna drizzle some sour cream on top. It's gonna be just like a baked potato, I'm telling y'all, without the skin, just easy to eat. Something I created years ago, because I say, how can I make baked potato more eater friendly? Well, I can just sit down there and just go at it without having to worry about digging it out the skin and all that. So this is what I come up with. But anyway, y'all, I'll be right back when the potatoes are ready. Like I say, I'm going to thin my cheese sauce out just a little. I might not have to do that because I'm going to toss it in the hot potato. I'll see. If I need to thin it out, I can always add milk to it after I'm tossing it in there. But I am going to thin the, the sour cream out because I need to put it in the squirt bottle here. So I need to thin out just a little so I can uh, squirt it on top. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back once the potatoes are ready and put this thing together. Old school baked potato casserole. Almost ready. Be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. I'm going to turn my potatoes off. 
and my potatoes are ready. I do not like a potato that's chunky, meaning hard. These are cooked all the way. You see how soft they are? Very important, because I want this to be not like a mashed potato when I, uh, when I, uh, let me move y'all over here. When I uh, toss it in the sauce, but I don't want it to be hard either. So what we're gonna do, uh, I'm take these, move this over out the way, get my pan here, not my pan, but my bowl. Drain these off, we're gonna mix this up while it's hot, y'all. That way, cause I, my cheese sauce is pretty much room temperature. So, these strain really, really good. Pour them in there. All righty. Right now, now we're going to add our cheese sauce to this. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to add here. Now, we're going to break up the potatoes a little. See how I'm breaking them up? But they're not going to be like a mashed potato. You know how baked potato is, it's going to be nice and fluffy. And that's pretty much how these are going to be. So get them all mixed up in there. Put a little bit more sauce. And I got sauce for something else, y'all. I mean, so when I make cheese sauce, y'all, I make a lot. So when I need it, I have it. And I'm actually probably going to freeze this. Y'all with me here. Everybody with me. Nobody's asleep. Anybody sleep in the back back there? Wake them up. Okay. Make sure some enough sauce. I think that's cheesy enough. Now, because I'm going to add some more cheese. Let me scrape all this off of here. Now, I'm going to add regular cheese to this. Then we're going to make a baked potato topping here, y'all. Real onions. What else I say I'm going to add to that? Now my butter, I'm going to put on the top. We're going to add our bacon to this. Got to have everything we put in a baked potato. And I'm going to kind of fold this in here. Look at this. Ain't this looking good already, y'all? Ain't this already looking good? I'm telling y'all, I had to create a way to have baked potato without having all that skin. And this is the way to do it. Y'all see another way I did. I didn't actually bake the potato. I boiled it. Don't judge me. Okay. I got my casserole dish here. Now we're going to pull this into my casserole dish. And we still not through, y'all. Look at that. Ain't that looking good there? Ain't that looking good and cheesy? Got the bacon in there. I'm telling you, if you don't like bacon, put you some ham in there. You don't like ham? I'm sorry if you don't like ham. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do, y'all. Y'all just say, Chef Jeff is crazy. You got to have your butter. <laughs> this is not for the healthy at heart, y'all. This is not for the healthy at heart. We're going to put a... We're going to put a whole stick of butter right here. I got my oven already heating up 350 degrees. Now, now I use real cheese, y'all, when I uh, put a topping. If y'all seen a previous video I had before, the cheese that I mix in there with it, it can be that packaged cheese. But the one I put on top, I do freshly grated cheese because it melts better than the, I call it plastic cheese, you know, they, it has a plastic coating on it, like a wax coating on the cheese that comes in the package so it can kind of stay uh, better on the shelf. So I use regular cheese for the topping. Okay, we're going to put this in the oven, 350 degrees, about 15, 20 minutes. It is nice and bubbly. When we come out, I'm going to put some sour cream on here and my green onion. And we're going to have a nice, bubbly, hot baked potato casserole. So anyway, y'all, we will be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Just took it out of the oven, nice and bubbly. And y'all, that is butter. 
That is butter. I'm telling you. If you like, don't have to. You don't want the butter. Don't put it on there. But you know, baked potato has butter in it. A lots of butter. If you don't want the butter, don't put it. Okay. Now to finish this up, y'all. All I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my sour cream. I'm gonna just go down and back like this with it. Just like this. Right into that nice butter. Right on top. Oh yeah. Can't go wrong with sour cream and butter and green onions, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna put our green onions on top. Just like this. That's it, y'all. Now I'm gonna let this set just for a second, y'all. Do my world famous YouTube thumbnail. And we're gonna come back, y'all, and we're gonna get us a big old bowl of this goodness here. Like I gotta tell you, y'all, it's not for the most healthiest people. So if you don't like the butter and cheese and sour cream, just eliminate what you don't like. So anyway, y'all, we will be right back in just a second. Be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. You got that bacon in there. You got the green onions, sour cream, cheese, butter, potatoes. Here we go. Let me get a good bite here. This is excruciating hot, y'all. I'm telling you. So hot. Look at this. Look at that. It's like eating a baked potato without the skin. All right, I'm going in, y'all. Y'all pray for me. Mm. I'm telling y'all, that'll bring the skin in your mouth. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That cheese. You know, tell me that ain't good. Get you a steak. I'm telling you, you have a steak cook out at your house. A barbecue, catfish fry, serve some of this with it. Mm. Because the thing is, y'all, it's so easy to eat. I love butter. I love cheese. I love bacon. I love potatoes. I love sour cream. It's all in there together. And y'all notice one thing. I ain't had no salt and pepper when I was mixing it. The reason is my cheese sauce is perfectly seasoned. And I ain't have to add no salt and pepper to this. Perfect big season, y'all. One more bite. Potatoes are perfectly cooked, nice and soft. And like I say, I boil the potatoes. Don't bake them. Just boil them. Make it easy on yourself. Nobody I know except you and me. Mm. It's so cheesy because I put cheese in. I remember I folded cheese in there too. It has cheese sauce. So it's like a cheesy uh baked potato casserole. But anyway, y'all, I eat this like crazy. If I had me a ribeye steak, about 10 ounce medium rare, it'd be on in here right now, y'all. On, with a side all this, all you need. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022. Helping others with a purpose. Old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.